Hey, 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 Ica Ray is back. Um, in this video, we're going to get into more effective ways to, or an effective way that you can protect and shield yourself from all forms of negativity, especially with all the hoopla surrounding this solar eclipse coming up on Monday. You're going to want to have yourself, you know, shielded and protected, you know, entities come through those portals, those eclipses. I talked about this in my last video on the dangers of connecting with solar and lunar eclipses. You know, that's in various cultures, from the Egyptians, the Hindus, the, the, the Mayans, you no know, evil dragons and serpents or whatever, wolves in certain cultures. During eclipse time, they swallow the sun. And so you don't want to tap into that demonic energy you know it's these entities they impact your consciousness so unless you have more effective ways to protect yourself you know <clears throat> when you're new on the path you get into the Florida water baths and you know maybe throw a little coffee and vinegar you know Epsom salt and lemon that type of stuff in your bath water your sage and your Palo Santo but these type of entities that is not going to work <laughs> This is not funny, but you know, it's you know, you're fresh on the path, you run into these things on the basic level, the Epsom salt, the baking soda, the lemon, the coffee, the vinegar, apple cider vinegar in your water, basil leaves and Florida water, stuff like that. So, you know, for the newbies on the path, you're gonna have to find more effective ways to protect yourself. And this image here is all about the symbols. You know, in ancient times you know, the ancient cultures that worked a lot with symbols and sound and mudras and, and magical words of power. The hieroglyphs, those are power symbols that are on those temple walls of various cultures. So various symbols, symbols of power, words of power um, can really protect your mind, your psyche from negative influences. So the first one, if you're new to ruining energies, new to this channel, if you appreciate the information, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, more information to come. I teach primarily the ruining energies because they're such potent energies, very easy and simple to work with. The more you visualize and meditate on these symbols, you will reap the benefits. If you're new to this channel, ruining energies are cosmic forces of nature. They go back to the Atlantean period, the Egyptians, they're also connected with the Egyptian alphabet. They are found in Ethiopia on the Ethiopian temples 14,000 years ago. They can be found in South America. They are very powerful cosmic forces that you can utilize to make improvements in all areas of your world, I tell you. So the first ruling energy here is Thorosai. Thor's side is connected with Thor's hammer. If you look at the image of Asar or Osiris, you know, he's standing in the Orion constellation. He's holding his crooked flail and is almost symbolizing the Thor's energy here. So this symbol can also be connected with Asar, the Shango type protective energy. Thor's size is a runic energy utilized for destruction of enemies, curses, binds, and fetters. Fetters are anxieties, fears that exist within your own mind. So you can utilize or, or meditate upon Thorosaz, a Thor's hammer, to break away all resistance of blockages within your mind, body, and spirit. Also a room of self-empowerment. Um, aggressive protection here is Thorosaz. So this is an excellent energy here to tap into to destroy not an energy to be sending at anybody, but destroy the enemies within your own mind and all your own ego self that gets in the way of progress. This is the proper use of utilizing this energy. The breaking of any curses, bindings, fetters. If you feel like you somebody got you in a binding spell, utilize thoracides, visualize the energy flowing through you, calm your aura in this bright red vibration. <clears throat> Comb your aura with this Thorosaz energy. And as you're calling upon the energy, call upon Thorosaz to destroy any and all enemies that may exist within your mind, 
destroy any curses, bindings, or fetters. Fetters represent anxieties, fears. Break the resistance that exists in your own mind, your body, and spirit. Evoke this energy to do just that. And now visualize it flowing through you. Calm your aura with this energy for maybe 10 or 15 minutes and you will reap the benefits of it. The more you do it, obviously, the more it awakens within your own subconscious mind and you will begin to see positive results the more you work with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The next running energy here is L has connected with the helm of R. Look at the helm of R. It ain't nothing but a bunch of L has running energies. And L has is primarily for protection, defense. It also connects you with the Valkyries, those protective female warriors. So this is very potent energy here for protection against any and all negative forces. Again, the more the more strongly you can visualize it while chanting the name of L has, um, the more this energy will help protect your psyche. Here, one of my favorite running energies for protection here is Tiwa. Tiwa's manifest warrior strength, courage, and also helps in protection from evil. Also known as the room of the spiritual warrior, connected with Tyre, a very ancient deity. Some suggest Tyre may be older than the god Odin. Either way, it's a very, very powerful energy for protection. Just like with Thorosage, you're going to call down these energies and vote L has for divine protection. Um, awaken within you that sense of divine protection. Allow the energy to calm your aura. And also here with TY. If you feel yourself, you know, being fearful at times, scared at times, and you need more courage, connect with TY. Visualize the energy, call upon the energy of Tiwaz and ask the energy to awaken within you more courage, to awaken within you that spiritual warrior. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is, because you now just spoke this energy into existence within your own consciousness, and it can't help but to manifest itself. The more strongly you can see it, the more powerful it's going to permeate your consciousness. So you can create a nice little meditation here with Thorosaz, Elhaz, and Tiwaz by simply chanting the names of Thorosaz, Elhaz, and Tiwaz, visualizing them as you're meditating for 10 or 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Very potent energies here for protection. So now you got some awesome defense that will help protect you from the, all the, the chaotic energy that is swirling around, all the stuff that's spraying in the air. Even the degenerates in your own community, you got to protect yourself from. You mess around and say something somebody don't like on a social media post, they're ready to go into the graveyard and do a graveyard spell on your ass. I tell you, this type of behavior, I don't, this type of behavior is a reflection of consciousness. Over a social media post, people are attacking each other magically. None of this magic is ever coming from the degenerates who are killing you in mass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is so disgusting. No magic ever comes from the people that are killing you, that are setting policy, that are killing our babies, that are killing the elders with trashy pharmaceutical drugs or whatever the case. No magic ever comes from these people. The people that attack you in your own community are the main ones hollering about 5D or in 5D or... You know, they are waiting on some type of savior because they feel powerless against the real tyrants, but they attack their own in the community over the most trifling of shit. I tell you, so this type of energy will help protect you even from the degenerates in, the, in your own community, as well as the higher level entities that are seeking to permeate your consciousness and wreak havoc into your world and feed on your ass until they kill you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's not funny, but I'm just saying. So this is very potent energy again, Thorosaz, Elhaz, T.Y. You can meditate with all three of them together or whichever one resonates with you. You can meditate on just a single runic energy, but for that optimal protection, I suggest working with all three of them. If this, these are very potent energies, very heavy energies. 
So if it feels overwhelming, start at just five minutes. Sunrise and sunset. If you're not at liberty to, to work with them at sunrise and sunset, maybe you got a hectic schedule first thing in the morning, any time of the day will do. Sunrise and sunset are the most, are the two most powerful times of the day. So I'm, I'm usually working at sunrise and sunset with the magical stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, but any time of the day will do, you can free to print this image out, save it. And so for those that are interested in additional ways to protect yourself, give me a holler. I can't give away all this stuff. I give away a lot on my page already, I tell you. <laughs> but I have a lot of video, audio meditations that are excellent also for protecting yourself, cleansing away negative entities. And, and all of that. So, but this image here, you're free to download. I have the names here: Thorasaz El Has Tiwa. Thorasaz El Has Tiwa. Thorasaz El Has Tiwa. Create you a nice little chant, little meditation. Have fun with it. The more you chant the words, the more you visualize it. The stronger the energies will be. Connect with these entities to clear away any negative entities. You know, when you're having these emotional upheavals, thoughts that come out of nowhere that mess with, mess with your emotion. Where do you think these thoughts are coming from? You know what I'm saying? They ain't coming from nowhere. There's entities within your consciousness that are feeding on your fears, your negative emotions, all of your pain. They're feeding on this energy. So you got to clear that energy out. You know what I'm saying? The simple stuff that you find when you're on the beginner level, the Epsom salt baths, your baking soda, some people throw peroxide in there, the Epsom, the, you know, the, the, the apple cider vinegar, some people throw coffee in the bath. I've, I've done all these things. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're not going to work, especially during this time. It's okay maybe 25 years ago, but... The energies that are swirling right now, those type of baths, is just not going to be strong enough to clear your mind and clear your emotions of the entities that are feeding on us. So you're going to have to find more effective ways to cleanse and purify these energies uh, from your system. And so for those that are interested in more effective ways of clearing out these entities, they also create havoc in your relationships. You know what I'm saying? They create havoc in all areas of your world. They mess up your finances. They mess up your relationships. You have to, you have to clear them out. They're not going to just go away. You're not going to say, well, I have no, I give no entity power over me, blah, blah, blah. Many of us are finding out the hard way that this, that is not working. <laughs> that is not going to do for these entities that are swirling right now. And now with this solar eclipse energy popping off, your wicked tyrants are going to want to use this energy to further empower their wicked agendas. So they don't tell them what type of energy is getting unleashed as a result of this energy of what may come through the portal. Whether it's going to be beneficial for you or not beneficial for you, you want to keep yourself protected either way. You don't want to have yourself waiting on a savior. Many of these people are, you know, calling themselves conscious or waiting on some type of savior to come through. The true bad guys, the true magicians, the true priests, the true priestesses, the true shamans out there are not waiting on anybody to come save them. They are peeling back the layers, doing spiritual practices, and they're awakening their own God, except their own goddesshood beyond talking. They're not waiting on any spaceships. They're not doing none of that. They're working on unfolding their, their, their powers that dwell within themselves. This is the work that they're doing on a regular basis, on a daily basis. They're not waiting on spaceships. They're not waiting on somebody to come from Sirius. They're not waiting on somebody to come from Pleiades. They ain't waiting on Never Rule. They ain't waiting on Jesus. They are awakening their powers within themselves to various spiritual practices. This is what the true Magi's are doing right now. This is what the true priestesses, the true priests, the true shamans. The true healers are awakening more and more of their healing powers. They're working on more ways. They never get complacent. Real magis, real priests, real priestesses, real shamans never get complacent. You would never hear them saying they don't have anything else to do. I've done the work. 
I don't have anything else. You never hear a real mad guy talk like that. They never hit their ceiling because they know, but even with all the information they've been exposed to or reading every book ever on Amazon, they're barely scratching the surface in their awakening. Because you're only getting fragments of the stuff we get off Google and Amazon. There's so much more information that will assist you in awakening to your supernatural power, your, your divine self. So a real mad guy keeps digging. A real priestess keeps digging. They're not satisfied. You never hear them talk like I've done the work. I don't have anything else to do with this weight on the Grand Reaper to take me out of here. They don't talk like that. <laughs> they keep digging. They keep awakening. You never hear a mad guy tell me, well, I'm not going to do anything because I'm immortal already. I'm immortal in this realm. I'm a god in that realm. They don't talk like that. They awaken the God, the immortal, the immortal self, the God self within a single lifetime. That's how the real bad guys, the real priestesses, the real priests get down. Anything else is uncivilized. <laughs> so, if you're interested in any in additional information, I have tons of information. Reach out. My email address is there, obviously. I'll put more information about these winning energies down below the video. For those of you that are interested in additional ways of healing yourself, protecting your energy, Give me a holla. We'll go from there. Until next time. Peace.